One of the very first words that a foreigner would pick up in Singapore is kiasu, and it is a word in Hokkien that means fear of losing out. Kiasuism is a way of life for most Singaporeans. Common sights such as squeezing to get onto a bus or MRT and queuing are not entirely unique to Kiasuism in Singapore, as such acts can also be seen in crowded cities elsewhere. In this video, we will introduce to you some of the more unique acts of Kiasuism in Singapore. To reserve seats is called chopping. This is common in food courts during lunch hour. It began from using tissue packets and umbrellas to membership on limb cards and even using toilet rolls now. Kiasu Singaporeans do not wish to lose out when free things are given. But when they come with terms and conditions, Can I have a glass of ice water? We simply don't want it anymore. Yeah. Huh? A more on, advanced on, 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 on. level of Kiasuism comes when Singaporeans prepare for the future. Financial planners might call this hedging, but Singaporeans will say they are simply planning ahead. Can I start P1 registration for my one year old son? So what do Singaporeans and foreigners think of Kiasuism? Kiasuism is good! As Singaporeans, that's our unique feature. As long as there's queue, just join. Don't care what they are queuing for. It's so good. You know, you end up with what? Good food, good gift, free gift. Everything is just good at the end of the day. And then you see big brands down there giving out free drinks and all. What people just chung like sell to the free drink samples. Whoa, that's how we are Kiasu. One time, I went with my prince to the cinema. I saw a group of students in front of me. Suddenly, they went in different direction. And after we bought tickets, I saw them together again. And they already have uh, popcorn. And I thought it was uh, very clever because uh, it was uh, very efficient. Uh, I never see this in Korea. <laughs> it was really interesting. But uh, if I'm in Korea, I'm not going. Uh, I probably won't do it. Kiasuism may have a negative connotation, but it's a true blue identity marker of a Singaporean. We try to improve ourselves, but will continue to embrace this culture. After all, Kiasuism may not be a bad thing. If you are a foreigner intending to, or are already living in Singapore, do not be alarmed when you come across Kiasuism. It's simply a way of life in Singapore. In fact, you may want to join in, and like a Kiasu Singaporean would say, you'll never lose out. 